In this next lesson, we're going to cover off some of the basics for what it would entail to create a walkthrough animation. Keys to creating an animation obviously um, will rely on the amount of detail that has been put into the model. In the case of the uh, rendering that you see in front of you, this is basically um, going to revolve around a kitchen renovation as well as a front entry expansion that is going to take place on this design. All of the detail has been placed into those two main rooms as it pertains to this house and then the rest of the house was simply finished out to give some amount of depth and volume to the model. Therefore, the animation path that I'm going to take you through will simply cover only the front foyer and the kitchen. There would be no sense in going to the back of the house because realistically that is just simply a shell to give us some amount of depth here. <coughs> to begin with, the animation path that we're going to create does not rely necessarily on what mode you're in. Therefore, as a time saver, you may want to change from textured into shaded. The shaded mode will still give you the depth and the volumes that you need when creating the animation path, but will save you time as you're creating that path without necessarily having to go through and, and um, render onto the surfaces all of your textures for stone and hardwood, etc. Things like reflections are not necessary at this stage as well because those are going to be um, costly as far as the, the generation uh, of your animation and right now all we're trying to do is lay out the path. To begin you would simply go to camera and select new animation. What's going to open at this point is basically your timeline here with a starting point and then as you move your um, uh, point of view using either the mouse, the keyboard, or the, the uh, 3D viewer and camera controls, you will set up uh, key frames within the animation path. And what will happen basically is SoftPlan will automatically calculate the path from keyframe A to keyframe B, from keyframe B to keyframe C, and so on. And so at this stage, what we will do is we our, our initial start point is what you see at this stage. And so now using the arrow keys, I will simply move towards the model. And as I move towards the model, SoftPlan is going to regenerate the image in a shaded mode, which comes up very, very quickly, and allow me to set the point that I have stopped at as a keyframe. Now when I do this, you will see that this is my, my start point at zero, and then at 6.3 seconds, I've inserted a keyframe. And this keyframe at this stage can be adjusted. When you hover your mouse over the little grip set at the bottom of the, uh, of the keyframe, I could adjust this and change this from six seconds to get from where I started to this point at the front door and simply hold down the mouse wheel and adjust this down to roughly half that or approximately three seconds. And so at that stage now I could um, once again returning to the model and using the arrow keys come in and at this point select to insert a new keyframe. And so as it goes I can continue to move my mouse around using the arrow keys and the controllers on the keyboard and setting up my various keyframes. And so at this stage here, I can now move into the kitchen and once again, click. If you want to review what this animation path is going to look like as SoftPlan calculates the path between each of your keyframes, you can always reset back to the start point and then hit the play button and SoftPlan will quickly run you through what your animation path is going to look like. This would allow you to see if, it, if you want to lengthen the path time or even shorten the path time between getting from point A to point B. Once you have a path that, that is uh, workable for what you want to do, and so this is what I have now, I could change this into, let's say, textured mode, which will, um, you know, 
redo my image but with full textures and, and assignments to it. And then once that has been textured, I will then be able to go through and create an animation using um, that animation path. And so at this stage, once this has been done, I can uh, once again review this. And we can see how it goes through the textured mode, reviewing the animation path that I have created. And at any time, I can stop this. I could adjust that time frame and then play it from that point to just see what my time frame is going to be. And once I, I if I'm if I'm comfortable with that at this point, then I'm going to output this to a to a model. So I'm going to come in, I'm going to save my animation path, and I'm going to just uh, call this animation lesson for now and click OK. I will now go through options and output options, which will allow me to create an animation using the animation type called lesson. I'm going to output this to a file and I can determine what the file size is going to be. Obviously the larger the uh, um, screen size that you select uh, or resolution, okay, the longer this could take to, to, uh, to animate. All right, And then I can also set up the number of frames per second. If you were going to set up a, um, a ray traced uh, animation, which is obviously going to calculate uh, much more detail um, as far as shadows and, and, and lighting is concerned, you could also set up the number of passes that the path tracing would take. In this case, uh, with animation set as my output file, I'm going to set it to this image. I can then click OK. And I can at this stage now go through and create my animation. I'll select the save option and at this point now the generating uh, per frame is going to, to be set in motion. And you can see the countdown of number of animation frames calculated versus the number it's going to take to create that path. Once the animation path has been set up you'll get a preview and at this stage you could then publish this to YouTube. Okay. Um, for to, to be able to send the link to those who, who uh, you know are to see it and so at this stage now I've got my lesson I could put my description in here animation path lesson and I can upload the video the following animation is in its completed form whereby we walk through the front door the level of detail that has been put into the front foyer including textures and symbols to give full depth. Lighting has been placed to create shadows. And at this stage now, simply by adjusting those keyframes, we can ensure a smooth animation path as we walk through from the foyer to the kitchen and allow the client that feeling of actually stepping into the model prior to it being completed.